Johnson. He's coming in. He was on the flight with Lieutenant Hanley. You see Sergeant Slocum get it? Right beside me. He got blasted apart like... Hey, Tommy. Give me a smoke. That's all right, sir. It's our Whaley set up the aid station. Aid station? Here? Is this as far as we're going to go? Yeah, we're being relieved. New orders. We're going to hold up here till the line straightens out. Move on ahead with the others. Hey, Lieutenant, you got to be kidding We've been on the move for 23 days without a break, Lieutenant. It's a tough war. Connors, get me a phone hookup. Also, I need some headquarters room at the Chateau. Right, Lieutenant. Get the men inside for some rest. Company's sending up what replacements they've got. You better uh, assign somebody else to Sergeant Slocum's job to let's end up a replacement for him. Phone hooked up and get this stuff inside. Let's go. Okay, third squad. All of you inside. Come on. Hey, Marcus, move it. Thomas, take my packet. Jackson, what do you think you're doing? Lieutenant said for a man to take over. Yeah, I know. Cage. Yeah. Take over. Third squad. All right, you guys, inside.
Kind of reminds you of home, don't it? Okay, let's set the radio open there. Try to hook your lines up there. Take your window up here, fix him up, huh? What's up here? Nothing. All the windows are smashed, there's a million holes in the roof. Hey, Sarge. Did I hear right outside one of your men gets to replace Slocum? Until a new sergeant gets here. I am the senior man in Slocum's squad. I know. Have to get this phone hooked up. See if maybe we get somebody's lights working, huh? Yeah, okay, Sarge. Hooker, anybody? Come on, fellas. Gonna be here for a while. Let's get a little party going here, huh? Hey, Tommy. Bring a chair over here. Let's play some poker. Tommy. Poker. Sure. Come on, fellas. Where's the old school spirit? You don't expect Tommy and me to play alone, do you? How about it, Marcus? Why not? Each sit a little weight for <laughs> You gonna play Marcus? Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna play Kirby, so are you. Come on. Ah, uh, might as well. It's raining too hard to go to beach today anyway. Ah, you're talking. How about it up there, fellas? Come on. Huh? Get a little action going here. All right, fellas, get up your money. Let us shuffle. That was a good looking card, Jackson. <laughs> First take I ever saw, it looks like they ought to have a purple heart. I think they're good enough to take your money, suckers. Okay, what's it going to be? Low ball, high low, five card stud for an opener, you name it. Well, I don't care. Go ahead. Deal, deal is choice, anything. All right, I say five cards, stud, nothing wild but the players. Yes, sir, my little old gray-haired mother always used to say when it's raining on the roof, son, she'd say, always deal five cards, stud, nothing wild. Nice, gentle old sweet lady, always went to church a lot. And she always tells herself, aces back to back. Make it 50 francs, one U.S. dollar, just to sweeten up the festivities, huh? Checking them out, Sarge. What's your name? Kelly. Kelly, yeah? Yeah, with a green necktie. How long were you in Sergeant Slocum's squad? Yeah, I came up with a filler when we hit that St. Pierre place back there. Things aren't going to be the same without him. He was a good joke. Your name. Burton. See ya. Dubert. Sorry, chum. Your name is Wallace, right? Hey, Sarge. What are you doing, taking a census? Don't forget me, huh? Name is Jackson, with a capital J. I, uh, I came ashore in Omaha, for which the crowds have been very sorry. I got all my own teeth. I'm a natural leader of men. At least, I always thought I was till today. Oh, come on, Jackson. Don't you want to get in this? Yeah, sure. Hey, Tommy. 
smoke. Hey, this here second platoon, Company K. That's right. Your replacement? Yeah, sir. <laughs> Sure, it's pouring out there. Oh, it's dry as a bone here. You play poker? Oh, pull up a seat, join the club. What's your name? Uh, Hicks. Barney Hicks. Any experience in combat? Yeah, a little. The KG is the acting squad leader. That's right, Hicks. You see, we lost our sergeant. Cage is substituting. That's funny. I always thought a substitute came from the same squad. I guess I'm wrong, right, Sarge? That's right, Jackson. You're wrong. Saunders. Got the headquarters set up yet? Yes, Lieutenant. What about the phone? Just about. Huh. What's your game? Dealer's choice. <laughs> Guess you've been dealing a lot, huh? Just sit yourself down right over there, and I'm going to deal some more. Yeah. All right. Hey, Gage. How about it? We got room for one more. That is, unless playing is against the rules for a brand new temporary squad leader. I'm busy. That's what I like, a real friendly crowd. Yeah. Yes, sir, fellas. Looks like we're going to have ourselves a long night here. Oh, well. I always did like playing poker in the rain. We move out, our objective is going to be a German roadblock. That's two reports. It's about a mile north of here. Now, Lieutenant wants you to pick out a couple of men to go out on patrol. Scout it. Check on the German defenses there. Right. Did you change your mind? Nope. Oh, yeah. Gee, I forgot. You got to pick yourself a couple of heroes, don't you? Yep. I was thinking of you and me, Jackson. Just a routine patrol. Look, boy, patrols don't bother me none. But breaking up a winning streak to go out in a rainstorm? It's got to be illegal. Right, Tommy? I'll go, Cage. Thomas, are you nuts? It's pouring cats and dogs. Part duck, Thomas. Boy, some people need their head examined. Who asked you, Marcus? What do you say, Cage? We still allow volunteers in this man's army? It's okay. Uh, I'll go. I don't mind the rain. And I don't really like poker. All right, Thomas, get your things on. Fellas, I have seen about everything. What are you talking about? You heard your sergeant's own hand pick squad leader, okay? Or maybe Cage isn't capable of making a decision, huh? Maybe I should have been made squad leader. What's the matter with me anyway? My feet too long? My helmet on wrong? Don't I know how to handle myself? You know how to handle yourself, all right. I've been watching you for three days, ever since you came to this platoon. You always take care of number one, don't you? Remember, avoid contact and check the routes of approach and the locations of the German machine guns. Hey, Tommy. Um, don't you worry about losing a thing. Your old buddy Jackson here is going to take care of you. Yes, sir, 10% of everything I win in this game is going in a little pile just for you. 10%, Tommy. You'll do better than if you stayed here and played for yourself. Now, let's see, where were we? Oh, yeah. Little, um, five-card draw, huh? What matter, Kirby, you quitting the game? 
Uh, Doc's supposed to take a look at my wound. Now you hurry right back, boy. Yes, sir. You know, my little old gray-haired mother, she sure did love this game. Did you really have a mother, Jackson? Anybody open? Pass. I'll open it for five bucks. Hmm. It doesn't look so good. <laughs> You're not kidding me, Doc. I didn't know it was that bad. Well, I didn't say it was that bad. I did. Sarge, he picked up some infection in his arm. I think he ought to see a doctor. Yeah, me too, Sarge. You'll never get away with it, Kirby. Not with Saunders. He doesn't play favorites. Come on, get going. Hey, thanks, Sarge. You know something, Hicks? I've often heard it said, but I never believed it till now, that in this war, it's not what you know, it's who you know that counts. They're going to do an awful lot of softening up. <laughs> well, don't let it go to your head. The more of our planes going over, the more crowds we're going to have to tangle with when we move in. Ace bets. Ace queen bets. 50. Sixes. For queens. To Jackson's deuces. Nothing. 150. I'll bump that 100. What am I doing? You got a pair of queens? Well, I did it. Fold. Take it easy. I'll see you and raise your 50. Hey, Doc, would you like to play? Why don't you get in? His mind ain't on the game. Well, you're just breaking my heart. All right. I don't believe you got uh, two pair there. I'm going to bump you. I got the two pair, all right. Well, what do you know? He got them. However, they're not quite as good as uh, three deuces, are they? Two more bucks for the Jackson Aid Society and 10% for Tommy Thomas. You get to see the roadblock? Yeah, I saw it. It's gonna be tough. A dozen cross or so machine guns. Come on, let's go. The only point we have to worry about is over there. 
Somewhere in there, there's a machine gun nest. Once we're on the other side, we're home free. That's a lot of open space. Well, we made it coming, we'll make it going back, Tom. I'm gonna go across the other side to give you cover in case you need it. Now, don't move until then, understand? All right, cover me. crazy fool. What did you do that for? You shouldn't have volunteered here for... For no reason you shouldn't have come here. I had to... I... Oh. I, I had to... J J Jackson. He... He knows what ha happened. You're gonna get me back, aren't you, Cage? I am. I am, Tommy. <laughs> around to you. You're gonna play. Doc, loan me 500 francs. I'll raise you 250. 
Well, I gotta keep you honest. Big pot for such a small town. Yeah. Why don't you quit now? Doc, here's your money back. Now lay off me, will you? Let's try a little plain, old-fashioned, open-on-anything guts. Yeah, that's a very fine game to play. Yeah. John's losing his shirt out there. So? Well, it's money that he was saving for back home after the war. He's, he's got this girl back there, and now he hasn't heard from her. Back on a squad leader, not a mailman. All right, Doc, I'll take care of it. What do you know? The medic is a chaplain, too. What'd you do in civilian life, Sonny? I was a bouncer. No kidding. My little old gray-haired mother used to tell me, son, always admire a man with a sense of humor. Jackson, are you in or out? Yeah. Yeah, I'm in. How did it go? What do you mean? Oh, come on. You went in there to get Mother Hen to look after her lost chicken. Jackson! I've had it with you. Where's the Sarge? He's over there. Hello, Lieutenant. Scout Patrol just coming in. How'd you make out? Roadblock's well guarded. A dozen or so men. A lot of them coming in. Machine gun. Lieutenant, looks like it's gonna be rough. Crowds are dug in tight. Reinforced platoon. Yes, sir. Thomas got it. He's dead. You weren't supposed to make contact. I know that. But we had to go through an open space. Machine gun nest pinned us down. He got it saving me. Jackson go. Thomas volunteered, didn't he? I know. But out there he told me he had to. He had to? Why? I don't know. But he said that Jackson knew what happened.
Why is everyone afraid to mention it? Two of them went out, didn't they? And only one come back? Come on, Hicks. Well, he's dead! Isn't he? Sarge, if you're taking over little John's hand, the bet is around to you. How long did you know Private Thomas Jackson? Not too long. We were together in the same outfit before we got transferred to Hanley's platoon, maybe two months. Why? Did you like each other? Yeah, we were real buddies. Why? Did Thomas say different, Cage? Should he have? What is this, a third degree? Huh? That's too bad about Thomas. No, nobody's got any guarantees. Anybody can get it any time. It'd stop me if I'm wrong, but you've had men volunteer for patrols before, right? You sure Thomas volunteered? You sure? Hey, Sarge, medical aid's on the phone. They want to keep Kirby for a couple of days, and they want to talk to you. Oh, boy, this... This war is a lead pipe cinch if you got friends in the right places, you know? I, I get the business because a, a guy volunteers for me, you see. And his buddy gets a couple of days free ride because he's got a lousy scratch. What are we, uh, what, what are we playing here? What is this, uh, uh Guts? Sounds like a lot of planes. All right, fellas, come on, will ya? Okay. Did you see me? Did you see me hold a, a knife to Thomas's throat? Huh? Did I twist his arm, Doc? Did I make him volunteer? Huh? Just let some. Sergeant come in and start talking about something he don't know anything about, see, and, and, uh, right away the big freeze is on, huh? How'd it happen, Cage? Thomas was killed saving my life. Machine gun mess had me pinned down in the mud hole. 
He ran right in their line of fire with a grenade and wiped them out. Hey, come on, will you, Kate? You think anybody's gonna swallow that? I knew Tommy, see? I served with him in the same outfit. Don't tell me he was a hero. He cost two men their lives. That's right, they, they investigated him for it. You know what happened? They had to drop the charges, see, because of insufficient evidence. But everybody knew that this kid was a coward. I mean, come on, the whole company knew it. Oh, that's what Thomas was afraid of. That you tell us about it. That's why he did everything you asked him. That's why he volunteered. Somebody got some wires crossed. Hey, you guys know what those guys back there do? Sit around talking about how much fun you're having up here. <laughs> what about the screwballs, huh? Hey, Sarge, you wouldn't make me carry the VAR, would you? I mean, I'm still wounded, you know. The thing's pretty heavy. I'll carry it for you, Gold Brick. Hey, you're a good troop, little John. I tell you what, I'll carry your pack. Hey, thank you, Doc. <laughs> Uh, you want to give me a hand uh, uh, getting this raincoat on? Huh? Come over here. I'm so holier than thou, I'm gonna give it to you straight. Yeah, yeah, I gave Tommy the business, that's right. You know why? Because he had it coming to him, because the kid was a coward. I know what I'm talking about. I've seen it, ever since Omaha Beach. You know how many guys there are in my squad that came over with me that are still alive? Me. That's it, that's all, just me. Half of them got it two days after we landed. And the last two of them got it just a couple of months ago. I saw them die. Guys I lived with, guys I landed with. 
killed by the kind of a lousy, stinky coward. He saved my life. You're a liar, Cage! Tell me you're a liar! He saved my life. Costello and Hicks. They're green, so watch out for them, huh? 